हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल थिंक लार्ज सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरियस मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू फूड न्यूट्रिशन फूड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज प्रोडक्ट्स दैट कंटेन लाइव माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म इन सफिशिएंट नंबर्स टू प्रमोट इंटेस्टाइनल माइक्रोबियल बैलेंस ऑप्शन ए एंटीबायोटिक्स ऑप्शन बी प्रोबायोटिक्स ऑप्शन सी प्रीबायोटिक्स ऑप्शन डी डाइजेस्टिव एंजाइम्स एंड द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी प्रोबायोटिक्स प्रोबायोटिक्स कंटेन लाइव माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म व्हिच प्रोवाइड्स हेल्थ बेनिफिट्स व्हेन कंज्यूम्ड एंड इट हेल्प्स टू इंप्रूव digestive health reduce depression and promote heart health main probiotic sources include yogurt and kefir etc next question wheat flour is fortified with which nutrient option a vitamin a and vitamin d option b iron folic acid and vitamin b12 option c folic acid vitamin b12 and vitamin d option d vitamin a iron and vitamin c and the right answer is option b iron folic acid and vitamin b12 so wheat flour is mainly fortified with iron folic acid and vitamin b12 next question which of the following is the best source of energy for us option a meat group option b fats oils and sweets option c bread and cereals option d milk and cheese and the right answer is option c bread and cereals so bread and cereals are the best source of energy for us next question what is the mixture of probiotics and prebiotics called option a symbiotics option b dibiotics option c symbiotics option d none of the above and the right answer is option c symbiotics symbiotics is a mixture of both probiotics and prebiotics that work together to improve friendly flora of a human intestine as it increases the number of beneficial bacteria in the gut so the mixture of pro and prebiotics is known as symbiotics next question most common polysaccharide added to food is option a water option b salt option c glucose option d starch and the right answer is option d starch starch is the most common polysaccharide added to food next question which gm variety of rice has enhanced beta carotene and iron option a golden rice option b brown rice option c parboiled rice option d none of the none of these so the right answer is option a golden rice golden rice mainly contain increased level of beta carotene and iron content next question the number of calories you can eat each day without gaining weight depends on your option a hunger option b activity level option c environment option d appetite and the right answer is option b 
activity level. So the number of calories that we can eat each day without gaining weight is mainly depends on our activity level. Next question. Full form of ADI is Option A. Acceptable daily intake Option B. Altered daily intake Option C. Acceptable diet intake And Option D. None of these And the right answer is Option A. Acceptable daily intake Which is a measure of the amount of specific substances such as food additives that can be consumed on a daily basis without any adverse health effects. Next question Is any other nutrient besides iodine which salt is fortified with? Option A Calcium, Option B Iron, Option C Vitamins, Option D Vitamin D. And the right answer is option B, iron. So besides iodine, salt is mainly fortified with iron. Next question. Which of the following products do you think are fortified in India? Option A, milk and oil. Option B, salt. Option C, wheat flour and rice. Option D. All of these. And the right answer is. Option D. All of these. Which means milk, oil, salt, wheat flour and rice. All these products are fortified in India. Next question. What should be reduced in diet to prevent hypertension? Option A. Salt. Option B. Fibrous food. Option C. Green vegetables. Option D. Fruits. And the right answer is Option A. Salt. Because as we all know, too much intake of salt in diet can lead to high blood pressure and various health heart problems. So, intake of salt should be reduced in diet to prevent hypertension. Next question. Incidental additives include Option A. Fats in the form of shortening Option B. Minerals from, minerals from cooking vessels Option C. Substances that are major energy contributor to the food Option D. Substances often used at home such as garlic and the right answer is option b minerals from cooking vessels mainly incidental additives are those which are accidentally introduced in the food during its processing production and handling so minerals from cooking vessels is a form of incidental additives next question overcome the deficiency of nutrients from a synthetic source is called option A fermentation, option B supplementation, option C fortification, option D none of the above. And the right answer is option B supplementation. So overcome the deficiency of nutrient from synthetic source is called as supplementation. Next question, which of the following has the highest glycemic index? Option A, ice cream. Option B, cucumber. Option C, bread. Option D, dextrose. And the right answer is option D, dextrose. Dextrose has the highest glycemic index in the given options. Next question, a substance needed by the body for growth, energy, repair and maintenance is called Option A. Nutrient Option B. Carbohydrates 
ऑप्शन सी कैलोरी ऑप्शन डी फैटी एसिड एंड द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए न्यूट्रिएंट सो न्यूट्रिएंट इज बेसिकली नीडेड बाय द बॉडी फॉर इट्स प्रॉपर ग्रोथ एंड फंक्शनिंग नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन माइक्रो मिनरल इसेंशियल फॉर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ थायरॉयड हार्मोन इज ऑप्शन ए कैल्शियम ऑप्शन बी आयोडीन ऑप्शन सी फ्लोरीन ऑप्शन डी मैग्नीशियम एंड द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी आयोडीन सो आयोडीन इज द माइक्रो मिनरल असेंशियल फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ थायरॉयड हार्मोन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेटो इज अ फॉर्मेंटेड प्रोडक्ट मेड फ्रॉम ऑप्शन ए सोयाबीन ऑप्शन बी राइस ऑप्शन सी ग्रेप्स ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ दीज एंड द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए सोयाबीन बेसिकली नेटो इज अ ट्रेडिशनल जैपनीज डिश कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ फर्मेंटेड सोया बीन्स एंड करेक्टराइज बाय अ स्लाइमी स्टिकी एंड इट्स स्ट्रिंजी टेक्स्चर so guys subscribe my channel for more updates and not forget to like thank you